fairly dry now so it had a good time to get dry and now uh, we have to make it smooth and um, a good idea is to take away all the um, all the pins the first thing I want to do is uh, take the trailing edge down it's, it's a little high uh, you can f uh, feel the uh, there are steps here from the ribs and here and I want to plane these down using a balsa plane like this This will take a few strokes, so uh, the um, the trailing edge is a little hard, and it really doesn't plane that nicely. Now I'm going to sand the wing and I use a sanding block like this uh, I've got 80 grit paper but um, it's well used so it doesn't uh, bite that hard and if you just place it on the piece that you're sanding like this wing and then uh, let this lie and use this end uh, you probably won't do a lot of damage since the ribs are laser cut you can see when you start biting into them because the black stuff goes away now the, I have to get uh, these webs they stick out above the um, the spars so the best way to get rid of them is to use a knife and just carefully cut them down to the surface of the of the spar like this and then after you've done all of them you just sand them a little bit if you cut them right you don't really don't have to sand anything That's it. Now to make the other one. Now the um, the right wing is uh, coming together, and um, the instructions now tell me to take the left wing, slide it onto the um, the spar here, and then lift the end rib uh, forty two millimeters. So. I took a little scrap balsa, um, marked 42 millimeters here up, and I'm going to glue this here to that and uh, get a ledge that I can then place underneath the rib. This is the most uh, precise way of doing this that I think. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do this see how it goes um, uh, 
There you are. Now I just have to put some glue and glue the wing in place. Now the next step is to make up the um, the wing tips. They are made from um, this light ply and a piece of a piece of balsa wood. And um, the only thing that you have to be careful about when doing this is to make one left and one right. I've already done one here. This is the left one. Now I just have to make the right one and uh, just glue it, glue the plywood down to the balsa wood. This is quite easy. Now, um, light play like this will warp it always does so in order to clamp it down the only thing we have to do is put a couple of pins in to prevent it from sliding around and then just add clamps A lot of them. One more, and we're good. There. Now this has to um, just harden, and then we can shape and stick it on to the end. Now we have to take these two trailing edge pieces and put them here at the end. Uh, but since the uh, trailing edge does not come straight together here at the, in the middle, uh, if we did it like this there would be a gap. So we just take this, uh, put it on the plan like this, and then mark where the uh, where the root of the wing is. Now we can cut along this line and then we will get the correct um, uh, well uh, gluing surfaces for the for the middle. Now I'm gluing these trailing edge pieces here in the middle uh, and this is the only place uh, on the wing so far at least where they expressly tell you to use epoxy glue so I'm putting some glue on this piece
Now I've I've glued in what they call W25 here. This is um, a reinforcement for the um, for the rubber bands that are supposed to lie here and keep down the wing. And uh, I'm going to have to um, sand this a little bit to make it um, easier on the um, on the rubber bands. So it won't, won't cut them. I've also glued in this little square here with the two holes in them uh, and I w want to um, cut away the balsa in here so that the leads from the servos can come out <coughs> whoops can happen if you're not careful. I'll have to glue this in again. Um, There you are. No harm done. Just as good as good as new. Now the next thing is to take these tip blocks and uh, um, saw them off, saw off anything that shouldn't be there, and then try and make them um, streamlined. And they then will come at the end of the wing, and this will. Uh, go very far to finish the wing. Here I've uh, already cut one of the wing tips and I'm going to do the same with the other. Um, it's best to use a break off knife like this uh, because the grain of the balsa is lying such that it's very easy to cut but like here um, it's best to use some kind of razor saw The rest of this is then uh, taken away with a balsa plane like this. Now you can uh, start taking down the balsa while you're still holding it like this but it's probably best to glue it onto the wing, onto the end of the wing, and then um, plane it and sand it on there. Then you have a reference from the, from the rib of the wing. Now both wing tips are uh, stuck on and I can start really going to town on them with, with the balsa plane.
Now I've uh, planed the wing tip down until it's sort of in line with the ribs and what I can do and it's uh, touching the plywood bottom here now um, I'll have to uh, round over the the end um, according to the according to the plan uh, this round over is not very great but uh, I can I can start it by using the plane So there, uh, the wingtip is on and it's formed and I will finish uh, sanding it when I do the final sanding on the wing before I uh, put some covering on it. And so here is the wing about 90% ready. There's some sanding to be done, there's the aileron and the servos. I will do the servos at the same time as all the other um, RC equipment and the ailerons will go on when all the other um, steering thingies go on. So that's the wing. Next we'll turn to something else.